61A, lecture number six. Announcements. Homework two is posted, and it's due on Monday. It's small. Project one has been posted for a while, and it's due next Wednesday, and it's big. There's a gorilla section on Saturday, starting at 12.30 p.m. in 306 Soda. And it's about higher order functions. The purpose of a gorilla section is to have a place where students can come from all over and just converge on a particular spot to learn. Once they're done learning, they disperse back into their natural habitat and hiding places in order to finish the project. So gorilla sections are focused on concepts, not on particular assignments. They include a worksheet full of practice problems, and you work on them with your peers, supervised by the readers and lab assistants, and organized by Andrew Huang, one of your TAs and a course manager for the course. The idea is that you get together and work on a problem until you've mastered it, meaning everybody in your group understands the solution. This sort of mastery learning is very important for learning anything, and in particular, technical subjects like computer science. On Monday, there will be a project party, actually two, one at 3 p.m. in Wozniak Lounge in Soda Hall, and another one from 6 to 8 p.m. in 2050 VLSB. You're welcome to bring questions about homework two as well, but I suspect that project one will take much more of your time. Midterm one is on Monday the 22nd from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. We hold midterms in the evening so that you can have enough time to think through these problems without feeling as rushed. On that day, there will be no lecture so that you can spend your time relaxing, sleeping, or preparing for the exam as you see fit. Details and review materials, including links to lots of past exams, will be posted next week. There will be a web form for students who cannot attend due to a conflict. And when you fill that out, we'll find a makeup time for you. In addition, if you're still looking for a project partner, there's a pinned Piazza thread all about finding partners for this course. The best way to find a partner is just to show up in lab or section and ask your TA to help you out, but if that hasn't worked for some reason, you can definitely try to use Piazza as well.